Coach for Good has a fantastic focus on young people, entrepreneurs, and especially women. It, um, it brings tools to young entrepreneurs who haven't been able to learn them in schools. Unfortunately, our regions um, don't serve their students and their young in the way that they should in the education system. We are taught by rote, we are taught to memorize, we are not taught to think critically, to take decisions, to negotiate, to have self-confidence and to have the ability to analyze a problem. Which for good can make a difference. It will help you structure your thoughts, it will help you use your critical capacities, it will give you confidence, it will help you become a strong entrepreneurial leader. And above all, it will help you contribute to your society in ways that it really needs you. Often our young people are not taught to, um, to think critically, they're taught to memorize. What happens is that it stifles their creativity, it stifles their thought processes, it stifles their, their critical abilities and ultimately it means that you lose out as a nation, as a society in terms of innovation, you lose out in terms of entrepreneurship abilities, you lose out in terms of energy, of dynamism and that is all compounded also by our political systems which don't allow much reflection either or much liberty in thought either. So you, you really do end up with a very stifled and smaller environment for entrepreneurs and for young people than you necessarily need have. What Coach for Good seeks to do is to bring um, these skills to entrepreneurs so that it can take their natural skills, intelligence, instincts and, um, and ambition into fruition by framing it in, um, in a system that delivers a structure, leadership, confidence, thought process and analysis. For women especially, this is of great value. We live in a world that is fairly patriarchal and not always encouraging of women and of their business abilities. So it's important to support women in their ambitions, it's important to give them the tools that they need to go forward and have the confidence to build businesses and to lead them. So in, in trying to see the big picture, it's sometimes difficult when, you're, when you've got so much going on and um, so much operational that needs to be done on a day-to-day -day basis, so much in your life in general, um, big decisions, small decisions, it's very difficult to prioritize, to categorize and decide um, how you're going to go forward. It's helpful to have a coach give you the structures to manage that decision-making process. Sometimes it's instinctive, you will know instinctively what the right decision is, but often you need tools, arguments and strategies to back up that instinct.